Hey guys, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about the optimal bit rate, resolution and frame rate for live streaming on YouTube or Twitch. Now, I was streaming the other day, I was using my Elgato HD60S, I was practicing with it and, you know, playing some games with it and trying to figure out what was the best setup for me. And I ran into some problems. The reason being that I set my video bit rate too high for my upload speed. So, I looked into this in great detail and you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of people giving bad advice. Um, hopefully, I can point you guys in the right direction. So, um, I'll quickly just show you. Um, that's my channel. Right, okay. So, I'll quickly show you OBS. Now, this, obviously, you could be using different streaming software, but I'm using OBS here. I've got the video set at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And... Right now, I've got the video bit bitrate set at 10,000. Now, the reason is I'm recording this to my computer. I'm not live streaming. If I was live streaming with my current upload, then I would have to reduce that. Now, at the moment, I actually have an upload speed of 5 megabytes per second, um, download of 76, but it's the upload speed you need to focus on. And I'm upgrading that because it's not high enough, so that will change soon. But the other day, I had an upload speed of 5 megabytes per second, and a lot of people were saying that if you're uploading or streaming to YouTube or Twitch, you should really go for around 70 to 75% of your upload speed. So in my case, 75% was about 3.75 megabytes per second and 70% uh, were about 3.5 megabytes per second. I went a little bit lower, I went down to 3,250, but even at that bit rate, I was having problems. You know, I had a 4.95 megabyte upload, but streaming at 3.2 megabytes it was too much so i was streaming okay but what happened was i got all these dns issues i couldn't actually um check my video was displaying okay i couldn't even read youtube youtube comments i couldn't search the web i couldn't do anything i was basically using up all of my upload on you know streaming to youtube so when i switched off the, the stream and i switched it back on i reduced the bit rate down to 2200 and everything was fine. The only problem being the quality was terrible. And this is the thing, you know, it is kind of a juggling act. You need to um, try and get the bit rate right for your resolution and trying to find the right one from there. So, as I said, there is a little bit of uh, misinformation out there. So, let's go to what they say on Twitch and YouTube itself. Twitch actually doesn't say too much. They just recommend frame rates of 25 to 30, 50 to 60 uh, frames per second and a recommended bit rate range of 3 to 6 megabytes per second. They've got other information there as well. You need to take into account audio and all that. But it's kind of vague. doesn't really give you that much information. On the other hand, YouTube gives you a huge amount of information. And this is the page I would probably recommend checking. I think this is... Most people should be using this as the kind of template, as the base, as to uh, what they should be using for live streaming. So, let's start off. 720p if you're streaming at 720p at 30 frames per second or 25 frame, uh, frames per second you should be using a bit rate range of 1500 to 4000 kilobits per second so 1.5 to 4 meg if you're going at 60 frames per second you need to jump up from between 2250 to 6000 now that there is saying quite a big range you know you're going from basically 1500 all the way to 4000 or 2250 all the way to 6000 it's quite a big range and it will determine the quality of your stream so you have to get this right but the only way to get it right is to actually live stream and play around with it every stream you do you know try maybe a different setting if something's not working right stop the stream and set it up again so um 1500 to 4 1.5 meg to 4 meg for 720p jumps up to 2.25 to 6 meg for 60 frames per second 1080p at 25 or 30 frames per second you're talking 3 to 6 meg 1080p at 60 frames per second which is what i was streaming at is 4.5 to 9 meg or 4500 to 9000 kilobytes per second as you can see i was streaming at 3200 and my upload speed couldn't cope with that and then when i dropped it down to 2200 the stream was fine but that's why the quality was bad because i wasn't able to upload you know that the, there wasn't enough um, um of the file getting uploaded you know of the stream 
So then you're into the higher frame rates, and this is where you really need killer setups, um, you know, from a processing point of view as well. 1440p, 30 frames per second, you're talking 6,000 to 13,000, so that's 6 to 13 meg. Jump up to 60, you're talking 9 meg to 18 meg. 4K, if you're, if you've got a really good setup, 4K, um, 13 to 34, and then if you go up to 60 frames per second, you're talking 20 to 51 megabytes per second. Now, I'm actually upgrading my uh, internet connection to have 300 download and 20 upload. So, I would, in theory, be able to go up to 1440p at 60 frames per second. I'm going to stick down at 1080p at 60 frames per second, though. And, um, you know, you saw that I was recording at 10 uh, megabytes per second there. And the thing is, if you have a, a better upload speed, sometimes it isn't worth recording at the higher bitrate because YouTube actually, you know, it's going to decrease the bitrate anyway when you upload. So, to summarise, I will link to these pages and please refer to these pages. Um, but really, what you should be doing is looking at your upload speed and then from that value, I think maybe 65, 70% of that, but really you should be using that value and then working backwards. So, in my case, I found, you know, Maybe other people will find it different, but I found that with a five megabyte upload, I found that really the most I could, uh, the highest I could say is my bit rate was 2.5 megabytes. So that was half, but I'm not saying other ones will be half. I'm saying that I needed those two and a half megabytes free to do other things. And, um, you know, if you, if you set it too high, you're going to run into a lot of problems. So what I would say is make sure you leave at least... Um, Maybe the 75% rule is good if you've got at least 3 or 4 megabyte free. You know, I'm going to have 20 megabyte um, upload, but what I'll be doing is just following the rule on YouTube and maybe setting it at 9 megabytes per second. Again, this is trial and error, guys. Find your upload speed. Refer to the template on YouTube because Twitch doesn't really tell you much. Refer to this page on YouTube and then, you know, just try and, trial and error. See, Try and get the, the most optimal... Um, stream that you can get that doesn't cause any delays, it doesn't cause any slowdown with performance and one that, you know, no latency issues, nothing happening in your computer as far as processing power, you know, nothing slowing down and it is a juggling act but once you find the right, um, you know, it'll be worth it once you find the right settings. I hope you guys have found it useful, guys. I found it was a lot of misinformation out there, not not by uh, people doing it by intentionally, they were just saying I've done this and it worked. But I think the YouTube page is the best one to refer to. It gives you all of the frame rates. Use this as a template. So if you're going to be streaming at 720p, start off here and then take it from there. And then just try and, you know, change the bit rates. See what works for you. And then take it from there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you get any questions, please do leave them below. If you've got any advice for anyone else or, you know, you've been streaming yourself, share your settings below. I'm sure myself and other people would find them useful. And it would be much appreciated. Speak to you all soon, guys. Take care.